In this video, we'll learn to find the mean and the range of a set of quantities. When do we use these and what do these mean? Mean and range are types of averages. So we use them to work out maybe the average spending in a week or a month. So things that you'd want to know roughly on average, something like a mid value that tells you how much you've spent or earned. So we'll start with an example. So let's say this is the amount that I spent on lunch um, during the week. So Monday, three pounds, Tuesday, two pounds, Wednesday, four pounds, Friday, Friday, um, I spend five, whereas on Thursday, I spent four again. And of course, I didn't spend any on Saturday and Sunday because I was off. So, if we try and show this in a graph, the amount I'm spending each day is changing apart from Wednesday and Thursday. So there is zero, one pound, two, three, four, and the maximum is five. So spending in pounds and that's day of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that's it. So on Monday, I spent three, so that amount should go up to three. Tuesday, I spent two, so going down. Wednesday, that was four, so going up again. And Thursday was the same as Wednesday, so again four pounds. And Friday was five, so the highest on Friday. Right, so as you can see, the amount is changing. And what I'm after is actually an average amount. What's that average amount? So that's in between highest and lowest, roughly consistent with the rest of the data. So somewhere in the middle and I'm thinking it's perhaps around here it's not the highest it's not the lowest somewhere here it's an estimate that I'm um, getting here but to work out exactly there is a way there is a way and we need to take into account all of them all of the amounts and if I find the total and then share them equally or divide by how many days there are, that's going to give me how much on average I've spent each day. So taking into account the highest and the lowest as well and every amount. So I'll go Monday, three. Tuesday, two. I'm ticking them as I go along so that I don't miss any out. Wednesday, four. Thursday, four. And Friday five. So what is that? Three and two is five and five is ten. Fourteen, eighteen. So that is eighteen pounds in total for the five days. Remember there's five days that I'm going to work and spending rather than the seven days of the week so you shouldn't get confused and a good indication is looking at how many numbers you've actually input. So 
that's 18. Now I'm going to divide it by 5. So 18 divided by 5, that is 3.6. So what does that mean? What does that 3.6 mean? It means how much I'm spending roughly or on average every day. So I'm spending £3.60 on average every day because that's how we write money. It's got to have the two digits after the decimal point. So that's the average. And the average or another word for average is mean. So these will mean the same thing. When you read the word mean, it means working out on average. So adding them and dividing by how many there are. So average or the mean average. It's the same thing. Sometimes you have them both of the words and it still means the same thing. So that gave us, it's a pretty straightforward way of working out, adding every amount and then dividing by how many there are. Something to pay attention to, let's say one of the days I spent zero pounds, I'd still take it into account. So if that was a zero, I'd go three at two at zero at four at five and then divide by five again because that day I didn't spend anything but it's still a day and I'm working out on average so I need to take that into account. Now we'll look at the range. How do we work out the range and what does the range mean? The example that I always use is looking at the range of prices in a supermarket. If you go to the cheese section, for instance, you're going to have different prices. You can have higher prices and lower prices. So the range of prices is about the highest and the lowest and what is in between. So that's or the difference, in other words, that we use in maths, the word difference means the same thing. So we're looking at what is the highest, take away the lowest. The highest spending was on Friday. So I'm working now at the range. So we go five, take away the lowest was on Tuesday, which was two pounds. So the range is three pounds. This was the mean and this is the range. So now going back to the other example when I tweaked this around and I said on Wednesday if I spend zero pounds then that would be the lowest amount. So I'd have to look at five and zero. Five take away zero gives me five and that would be the range in that particular case if I spend zero pounds on Wednesday. So to summarize with a mean, you take into account all the data, you add them all up and divide by how many there are. Whereas for the range, you look to find the highest and the lowest and take away the lowest from the highest.